back to Squadcast. Uh, Caboose and I had a chance to really calm our fandoms down. We're ready to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> never calm Did you down, see though. me trembling as well as I said that? Like complete denial. Yeah. Like I yeah. can't. Like. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Enough superheroes for now. We'll continue that talk maybe over uh-huh. social media. Uh, we're going to talk about xCloud's uh, launch date that was revealed, as well as what we think will happen to the industry once once xCloud is uh, out for everyone to play on. Uh, Alex, you got this one. Yeah, so um, you guys, actually, the reason I even know about xCloud. <laughs> um, so like You're welcome. Like, You're welcome. I finally know something. There you go. <laughs> um, I think like a couple days ago, uh, Microsoft announced that xCloud Mobile will be launching September 15th. However, it's only on the Android. Um, I know that like most mobile users, I think it's like 50% Android, but it's still like, like you know, uh, like a decently high 40% users are iPhone. So that's interesting how that's going to work. And it's only going to be uh, available in like 22 countries. So it's like, it seems to me like a really small launch. Yeah, yeah. And we're, I'm just wondering, like, how that e- how that's even gonna work? Is it even worth it, like, launching like that? What do you guys think? Uh, I don't know. I mean, again, the, the the whole thing with XCloud and and with Stadia and the whole like streaming games, playing them online, it's one of those things where it's a cool concept. It's there's no doubt about it that it's it's a cool concept and it's something where if I had the time. If I wanted to, I'd give it a go because why not? Like just to see how it works. Me being out on my phone playing any of my games on Game Pass, you know, like mm-hmm. that sounds cool for sure. No doubt about it. Yeah. But I just don't think it's how I want to play games. I don't yeah. think it's ever how I'm going to see myself playing games. This is just tailored for a very specific kind of audience. And I don't think I'm that audience that they're looking for. Yeah. So. I don't know. It is it but, is also a really small launch too. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Booze, do you play games on your phone? D- not really. Waiting no. at the doctor, waiting on transit, not at I all. I just look at tw- I just look at Twitter and if I'm if I'm on the subway, if I'm ever on the subway, I'm sleeping on the subway. Oh, <laughs> if I got a oh, seat, wow. if I got a seat, I I'm I'm uh, leaning my head back and waiting till I get to my stop. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm I don't I don't really- usually got games on my phone. I'm going to be really real, okay? I, I'm kind of in your boat, Caboose. I don't really play games on my phone unless, and wait for it, I'm taking a dump. And it's, I, yo, True. I am straight fair, up. If I'm in the toilet for a long time, and it's not even like I, mm-hmm. honestly, half of the time when I'm in the toilet and I, you know, I'm doing my do, I'm not even <laughs> going for that long. It's just that I'm playing a game and it's getting really interesting. <laughs> Mm. so right. like for me i like Someone this like, I, it. <laughs> we were all thinking about it we we know we do this it's normal talk about the oh flow going out and what you do okay um but my thing is like i would i would love to play something like cuphead <laughs> on my phone that's true that's yeah so, like i like i love playing platformers on my phone um because they're just fun and just easy to pick up and like go at that level and then you put it away i'm not really story based heavy on mobile Mm -hmm. but i I could see this you know being a good thing will it change gaming maybe elements of it like if they use x cloud for playstation like you know where they're in talks about that we've talked about it in previous weeks how uh, microsoft is trying to work with playstation on some level with x cloud i think it has the potential to change how we think of these companies working Mm -hmm. especially how Microsoft is going more on their services um, Mm -hmm. based on their console, like console heavy. Um, And I think it's wise to do it as a small launch because Mm -hmm. the problem is Google Stadia, right? (laughs) It was a large, big launch that didn't really have anything. So if they're able to focus on a smaller launch, but really have quality um, games on there, um, quality games, returns for players or users that are using this service, I, I think it's great. I actually, I actually on the other side, I actually do play mobile games. And a part of it's because I play, I play card games, right? And a lot of card games oh, are yeah, yeah, yeah. moving to mobile. But I remember I was a little excited for xCloud until they said the whole um, not on iOS or Apple devices, because besides for my PC, I own like a full 
full Apple lineup of devices. So the moment right. they said, yeah, we're not supporting Apple, I'm just like, oh, okay. Well, guess I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> myself. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And and that's the thing. Is xCloud going to allow for games that are more popular on mobile, like right. those card games? I think right. with any service like this, you can't just go into it looking at um, console gamers and what they want because, quite frankly, as Caboose mentioned, majority of the if majority are like him and don't play while they're taking a dump, then they may not be. <laughs> they may not be into. That's the only place. <laughs> <laughs> the key factor here, yeah. Yeah, they may not be into <laughs> xCloud, right? So I think to really give this a successful launch or have this become successful over the course of however many years, you have to cater it to the different devices you're able to play on and what those gamers are looking to play. Like, right, what was that right. game? Was it Flappy Bird? Like, if they have more yeah. games like that, I think that would make sense for mm. something like xCloud. Um, I think indies, this also would great be a great place for indies to really showcase their games as well um, and maybe give them more of a platform that they won't usually have on console. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I actually think that mobile gaming, for now, is still completely separate than, like, regular gaming. Mm -hmm. Um, I like what Yukio in the chat said. He says, I think the mobile gaming market is more centered around Asian countries. So that is where they're trying to get the most people. Um, well, actually, I wasn't thinking like specifically Asian countries, but he is right. Like there's a there's a huge point to that. Um, I know mobile gaming is really big yeah. in Asian countries. Um, but yeah, like more so I was thinking it like what Kabu said, where, you know, for people who are uh, traditional gamers, it, it seems like completely different way of playing games or I don't even know if you want to consider it gaming necessarily because it's like a whole different kind of game that you play you know like the flat yeah. birds and cuphead you know there's things that you can just kind of pick up and just do while you're doing while you're doing do you know like like I mean, <laughs> while you're taking oh, it dump. Wow. you're taking the dump there's hopefully it's a solid one while you do yeah <laughs> <laughs> how did we get here but <laughs> i don't i don't know with me i always try to enter it into any conversation just talk about it everyone Honestly, does it true yes exactly everyone does it and it needs can to be i like play the new suicide squad game while i'm taking a dump <laughs> like, probably that would just elevate probably, probably. the game no. <laughs> Monday, probably yeah 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 that just elevates it to a whole nother level <laughs> But but I think there is something to say about a lot of um, Asian countries playing. Like when I was in Japan in November, going on their transit, everyone was playing games. Like almost everyone on the train. Really? I was there for like um, almost three weeks. And that was like, doesn't matter their age. Like they're playing a game oh. with headphones because they're very polite. You can't play with your speakers out. You got to play with the headphones on. Be respectful of your surroundings. And taking a dump, hopefully. Yeah, and yeah, yeah while taking a dump. Maybe they do. I don't know what they do in their private <laughs> lives, but um, it, it's big there. So I think for Microsoft to do this uh, for a space, especially mobile gaming in a space, they're a North American company where usually Asian countries like kind of dominate that mobile gaming space. It's going to be interesting how they're received in Asia, and that may not be their goal, right? Um, it would, looking out of outside of this, I it would make more sense for me if PlayStation were to put a service like this in place because they have easy access to that Asian market, right? Mm -hmm. um, because the company's Japanese. So yeah. it would it would have made more sense on that front, but it will be interesting to see what Microsoft does. I don't see it when it launches being very um, like the buzz thing that we're all going to be talking about. I think it's going to take a year or two for everyone to kind of hop on to even tr giving it a try. Mm -hmm. Yep. Honestly, um, I want to know like how do, how does it work? Like even even services like Netflix, like how does that work? You know, like where where, <laughs> where, where, where do we get it from? Where, where, where are the okay. X Cloud gods right, yeah. to explain this? <laughs> are, they really, are they really in the clouds? <laughs> like where, how do you get? It? <laughs> Okay, this is my thing, Alex. That. Maybe they are in the clouds. Maybe. Yeah. We, like all thought up, heaven, dude, just... we all thought <laughs> heaven was a place where we go to after we die, but it's really just a place where we store it's our whole yeah. yeah. files. <laughs> just X-Cloud. 
Does anyone it, it, it's like no. <laughs> it is it is very interesting how this yeah. works and how they're trying to make it more seamless. I'm more interested in what this will do to my hardware. Like I have a, a Pixel 3, right, on as my phone right now, and it's decent on battery, but if I'm gonna play something like XCloud on this phone, it's gonna be now streaming something ongoing so that that's going to be draining my battery and then if i'm playing something like cuphead that's going to be draining my battery as well so would it be worth it um like how much gameplay will i get out of a single charge of my phone you know what i mean mm, right yeah i don't know yeah, <laughs> yeah. no and also dad is so. a huge thing as well like yes exactly for, for oh. paul where are you are you in canada where we yeah okay yeah okay so for us three I'm canadians alive. sorry alex <laughs> <laughs> data plans on your phone are very expensive. very expensive like the unlimited plans what are those that's like something americans make up we don't know what that is here yeah. um so it, that's going to be interesting i think that's also why it's a smaller launch because they're looking at countries that have those services available to them uh you know to really utilize and get the most out of something like xcloud right yeah i think like in terms of portable gaming i think the switch just does such a good job and yeah. like and incorporating like those like cupheads and and kind of app like app games with like actual you know like breath of the wild and uh Mar mario odyssey like you know with those things like they just do such a great job and I feel like if anything, I guess that could kind of be like where mobile gaming goes if it wants to become like more serious. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, just play on your phone. It just it's still after so many years and so many people like wanting it to be a thing. It just still kind of falls short, in my opinion. Maybe we're just mm -hmm. like not there yet with our phones specifically. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. um, in chat, we have uh, Baron says in a few months it'll be like XCloud. Who? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah i hope not i really don't and i think um what microsoft is doing i mentioned it before but diversifying trying to have x cloud where it's not just that single service maybe it's integrated to something like playstation now right um mm -hmm. i think that would be a smart way to go to help the longevity of a service like that um you know what the problem is though? yeah go ahead An yeah. announcing x cloud now when there's mm -hmm. the next generation of consoles coming it's going to get completely overshadowed, even though it's a cool concept, even if it's integrated into the next gen consoles, it's completely overshadowed. So I feel like if they had waited four or five months, if they had waited till like quarter one, point, 2021, yeah. when these consoles were already out, when a bunch of people already had them in their hands and they were like, here's X cloud, play it through PlayStation. Now play it through Xbox game pass. Go ahead, try it out. It's available. You could do stuff with your next gen consoles gotcha. with it. It probably would have caught a little more steam. But you you announce it now, you release it now. It's like okay, maybe somebody's gonna try it out. Then they say, oh hey, the PlayStation Five is coming out on this day and it's gonna cost this much. Oh hey, the Xbox Series X is coming out on this day and it's gonna cost this much. Mm -hmm. Like the same amount of people that are still playing Stadia today are gonna be playing X Cloud after that. Okay, yeah. it's just it's gonna it's gonna die down. It's gonna be not as uh, as hype as it potentially could have been if they had given a little more time uh and and even then too if they just waited a little longer they could have refined a little more made sure that it launches without any bugs not that it will but you know yeah just there's the, it couldn't have hurt to have waited yeah. a little longer yeah, especially yeah. now with covid right when people aren't really moving as much exactly at home, right mm -hmm. and it's like the whole point is it is for it to be portable and being played like on the go but everyone no one's really like on the go right now right so right um, Maybe yeah. they're looking to kind of being overshadowed, though. Like, maybe they just want to put it out there. Because this X Cloud isn't necessarily anything new. They've been talking about this for, like, I want to say, like, almost two years now. Um, mm -hmm. It's been, it, people tested it out earlier this year. So I feel like maybe in order to really work out all the, like, the kinks or, like, the little bumps into of the service, they need more people on it. So if they do get overshadowed by next gen. It doesn't matter because they still have access to the people that signed on to xCloud from the beginning to help them build a really um, durable or strong service, right? Yeah. Um, I do, I, I completely 100% agree with you with xCloud being, you know, if they announced that alongside 
um, next gen or a few months after. I, I think that would have been smart, but they would have ha- they would probably be held to a higher standard because of that, right? And then possibly could have hit the like could have lost a lot of people if they've tried it out and it wasn't where XCloud should be. I feel like the benefits outweigh the um, like the detriments, though. Like that could come from something like that. That's true. Because that's true. At the end of the day, having a bunch of people still signing up for it, uh, just like you said, like the more people you got playing it, the more feedback that could be provided, the more better it ends up being because of that feedback that's provided. It's just like it's just like what any beta's purpose is to serve. But again, I just I just don't know a lot of people that are going to play this, except for the very small niche that it's kind of tailored for. And yeah. I'm just that's. It. It's not it's not meant for me, so I'm not going to be excited. But um, but I'm sure that there are people out there that are excited and, and good for them. It's it's a cool, yeah. exciting idea. It's cool tech. It's definitely interesting, and it's certainly a glimpse into like ten years from now where we potentially could be with gaming in general. So yeah, I don't know. I, I who, agree. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, I do want to ask how many of you have an Apple device as your phone though. I do. I do. This guy. <laughs> so all three of you, right? Holy Apple, oh. except for my PC, yeah. This guy. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely going to be limiting for xCloud, but I think that's an Apple problem. Android, super race for life. Um, anyways. Apparently there's <laughs> more Android uh, users than Apple users, but it's oh, really? close to the same, I think. Mm. I think it's like, like 50, 40 something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but- we'll have... Yeah, we'll have to see um, Matt, how this all Imagine owning an Android, though. Mm-hmm. Could, couldn't be me. It's just so complicated, Androids. I know. It, it's so simple. It's so complicated to really customize your own phone and do whatever you want and not be held to the boundaries of the App Store. But anyways... <laughs> Too much to think about. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's move on. Actually, before we move on to our next topic, I just want to throw this in here. A uh, new YouTube series, Caboose... Can I take a dump while blank? I, I mean, I'd itself. watch that. I'd watch while. that. <laughs> while. 